Aloha Ferendos, this is Farocab of Farocab Studios. I have a robotic arm now, and welcome to a new mod spotlight for a new mod called Roots. Uh, it's actually a fairly new mod, and don't ask why I have a robotic arm. Why do I have a robotic arm, Tyler? Dr. Tyler? Exactly. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. But anyway. So yeah, new mod for Roots. This is a 1.10. Jeez, I didn't know they were making mods for this already. But I guess they are, so let's review it. Besides, I haven't done a video in ever. So this mod is based around magical things. But it's another magic mod, but I mean... It's based around nature. Not just flowers. Mm, Britannia. <laughs> but I mean, just nature in general. Nature magic. And I like it, because there's no, like, oh, specific charge you have to do to run stuff. No, you just gotta run stuff. Nature, because... Why not? <laughs> oh. I am still not a fan of the new stuff. So, in reality... So, how do you start this mod? Well, punch grass. I would say punch wood, but punch grass. Just, just punch it. Punch it. Punch it. Punch it all. Punch all the grass. Uh, okay, yeah, I did not have a mind with this, that makes it Just keep punching. Just keep punching. I forgot to set, turn my stop launch on. Whoopsie. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. There we go. Anyway. It's just, it, it should. Uh, ah! Found it. So if you punch grass, there's a there's a chance you'll get an old root. What do you do with an old root? Well, you eat it. No, just kidding. I mean, you can eat it, but it doesn't do much. That's how you start off. So this old root, what can you do with an old root? Well, you can turn it into a rooty stew with with that recipe, which is makes it heal more hunger. But what we want to do with it. Is do this craft recipe to do a runic tablet, Boop. which is basically the manual, the mon manual. And before we move on, another thing I want to do is the bark knife. You can do it with any kind of bark and wood. And what you do is, I believe you right click, mm -hmm. logs, and you get bark. And there's a chance you could break one, and there's a chance you could. Get a whole crap ton. I'm not gonna be. Yep. You can get bark from all kinds of trees. Uh, I don't think I got all the bark, but I don't care. Yep, there's more. I do trees, and I don't think mod trees. Yeah, this is a fairly new mod. It's definitely beta. I say, but I mean, for beta mod, it is well developed to the point of where I'm happy with it. I'd call it stable. Oh, I used my knife. <laughs> Pay attention to durability, me, Pharaoh. It does not have the durability, but I mean, it's made of saplings, so. You know. I don't think it had the best durability in the world. And Keisha? Sorry, I have to do all the bark. I don't know, I'm gonna save that for later. Yeah. All these sparks. And these sparks are useful later. Along with the roots. So there's three to oh and I also have to mention, while I'm thinking of it, they have their own achievements. Is my Okay, I had to make sure that my voice was not off, because I did not want that this Again, I almost said it off. Dr. Terrorist, I know you have no idea what's happening. That's why I'm teaching you. I know more about magic than Mr. Terrorless here does. Dr. Terrorless. Mr. Dr. Professor Tireless. <laughs> so there's three main sections of this run. There's the natural arts, spellcraft, and rituals. Spellcraft is your stuff. So bark harvesting and eat. Right. So rare materials. So in the world, you can find some random rare material. Rare plants, depending on what you use. There's a... Old roots are a 1 in 40 chance from breaking grass. Very useful for some stuff. 
Verdant Springs is a 1 in 30 chance when harvesting fully grown crops of any kind. Kind, and they have a very neat life force. Typically used in life stuff. Infernal Balls are 1 in 20 chance from grown, from harvesting grown netherwort. Very fiery, very powerful, very useful. Dragon Eyes have a 1 in 10, 10 chance of dropping from chorus flowers, which I am not familiar with. I have not played one. And also, I must mess, much mess in. Like, you can eat well, old roots for a very small amount of hunger. Mention that. That could be used from later. Hitter. The uh, infertile balls while also being used in spells for st and stuff. Huff, they are also a fairly efficient. F make fairly efficient furnace fuel. And also, if you give it to a skeleton, it makes him a wither skeleton. Neat. And then the dragon eyes. Eyes also being used with stuff. If you if you eat it, eat it. The eating a chorus and then eat a chorus fruit. The chorus fruit effect is much more po powerful, or it can be smelted into an ender pearl. So you know, useful, useful. Yeah, yes one does. I don't know what eating a chorus fruit does. I think it teleports, but I don't know. I'm not a. I'm not knowledgeable in 1.9 and later. I do know that it makes my skin look cooler, though. Anyway! I'll have my face again. And then the thing we can make is growth powder. Long hair. It's basically bone meal, but... But throwable. And a large, larger area, I think. But, what is useful more is making mutating power. The power of the Nether Star, you've created the power... Huh? And basically, it is very, it's used very, very rarely, like only three times cases you'll ever use it. But it's very powerful and very useful. Anyway, and there are berries. Berries, there's a chance of breaking oak leaves by hand, you'll find a berry. And that's kind of why I wanted to, uh, hold off for, on the, this tree for a minute. I want to see if I can get a berry. I probably can't. Won't it? I don't know, I think I'm hallucinating. Come on. Give me the berry. Ah! Uh, ah! I got a black current. Ooh, nightshade. I hate to break a day, but nightshade doesn't come from trees, I do not believe. Actually, many different kinds of nightshades. But I'm not gonna get into that. Tomatoes is technically a nightshade. There's many kinds of nightshades. Oh, there's a berry. Alright, a red currant. Alright, yep, and I think you can eat those as well, but who knows? I don't. I honestly just took a look at the manual and. <laughs> Shut up! I know what I'm talking about! Anyway, and there's Rudy Stew. Basically, much more hunger. And then there's the healing pulp. <laughs> Natural banding! Hey, that's what I'm gonna call it. Using Inverted Springs, it basically apply it to your wounds and you can heal a bit. Huh. It's basically any healing item ever in, in, in video games. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm funny. Jeez, huh. this robotic arm is cool. On a, on a random side note, I huh. in one point, in, in before, in before one point, Eight or nine versions. It looks like my robotic arm is on both arms, which is strange. FYI. But anyway, completely random. Sorry, sidetracks. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Anyway, uh, mod pack. Mod. I mean. Anyway, spells. Spells are cool. And there's two main things you need for the spells. You need the mortar and pestle. Got like that and that. And it's useful to spell. And then the which, uh, huh. allow you to make petal dusts, huh. and also the pestle is used for some stuff. Hey, boop, boop, boop. Huh. Nice little pestle. I'm actually gonna move it over by the Dr. Terrorless. Huh. And then also, this, but you can't just use the petal dust up right away. You have to use the imbuings. Huh. The staff imbuer. The imbuer, which allows you to imbue the power, huh. power of the staff, of the pedal dust into a stick. Huh. And that's how you make a staff, kids. 
Ah, it looks really cool. I like the model. <sighs> you literally just take the pedal down, and I'm gonna need sticks. Shut up! <laughs> yeah, sticks. Yep. That's how this mod works. And it's completely free too. Ooh, did I, I miss some? I miss some potential berries. What I get? What I get? What I get? Get get? I got a sap. Anyway, on track again. So let us create a. And there's many kinds of spells. I'm not gonna go over all of them. Hmm. That was a f nice looking one. Uh, what was it? What was it? Um, I think it was Devil's Flower. The allure of the Red Tulip seems to draw a rather sinister attention. Using you can summon a special skeleton to attack a nearby mob. Yep, and see those those ingredients are what you, you put in the mortar and pestle. Oh. So it's a uh, red tulip, nether brick, oh. quartz, and red sand. Oh. It's red tulip. Oh, jeez, oh, we have oh. Uh. Hold on. Huh. Quartz, brick, and set. Huh. And then you have to use an old root afterwards. Actually, huh. yeah. And then you put it, throw in an old root. Huh. Oh, I already had an old root. Huh. So you just go, what? No, not that. Oh. Them out. No, I'm hallucinating. Is what happened? You go blah 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 blah, huh. and then a blah, and then a blah. The no macerator required. Oh yeah, there's those achievements. Yeah. And you just throw the pedal dust in there. Throw in a stick. Wah 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 wah. Bing! And you get a staff. Yes. Huh. And uh, these staffs have limited uses. And you say it has no modify, oh. no pot, 65 uses, as I think, as standard. And you may notice that no zero oh. plus zero potency efficiency in size. I'll get that in a minute. And you can see those little petals. That's basically your mana. It's called Terra, and, you know, it just kind of affects over time. But yeah. I'm gonna turn it to easy. Uh, who is a gonna be our subject of the day? Is that the. Oh yeah, there's structure stuff. Stuff I don't mess with, because I don't need to. Uh... Who should be our... Our uh, test subject. Eh, I like pig. Let's kill him. Let's mess with pig. S oh. Bonk. And I think it's just... Kill him! Kill him, man! I'm sorry about that. Minecraft had an error. So anyway, so apparently that Devil's Flowers is not the best idea in the world right now. Again, it is very work in progress. So we're gonna try the growth spell instead. Uh, pistol. And uh, let us get a. Thing to grow. I like potatoes, so let's get potato. Where do they put uh. potatoes? Curse you, JEI, and your sorting this. Uh. Let's try not breaking the mod this time. Broke my entire. Uh. Um. It done had an error. Uh. Oh, here's a spot. That's a noise. Oh. Alright. Oh. Boo! Didn't work. Boo! 
I think it worked. Uh. Yep. See, it only has a chance. I see my amount of uses are going out as well. See, it doesn't have a 100% chance. So I think if I had more cross around me, more stuff would be growing. And now we have potatoes. Bonk. Yeah, potato! I'm gonna leave that there. So I'm gonna leave that there. Yeah. Anyway, moving right along. Oh, hey, I don't remember my spot. So anyway. But then, but if we want to make the better, we can add modifiers to it. So, you could add up to three modifiers depending on what you use as a kind of a, um, I'm going to call it a catalyst. The old root being one of the catalysts. Um, if I remember right, old root, using old root as a catalyst, yields no, allows you to have no modifiers. Using verdant springs instead of an verdant spring instead of an old root, allows you to have one modifier. Using an infernal bulb allows you to have two. And using a dragon's eye, I think it was called. I can't even remember. Allows you to have three modifiers. And you have to use these catalysts before any modifiers. So yeah. And there are three different types of modifiers. Using glowstone improves the strength. Or po like, gives you a potency modifier, which improves the strength of the spell. The efficiency, or what redstone dust, will make it so that it costs less Terra to cast the spell. And using a size modifier, gunpowder, will improve its area of effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you could have any combination. You could have two glowstone, one redstone, one of each, all of one kind, mix and match. Sorry, I need my lifeblood. I mean root beer. Yep. Mm. So if I do the uh, gross spell again, if I can remember what, uh, dragon's eye. But instead of the, s it was wheat. Beetroot. Oh. Lilac and vine, right? Oh. Yeah, I think so. And three glowstone dust? Because that's potency. Oh. So it's a da 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 da. Oh. Da. Da da da. Blah. All the mods! Oh. Blah, 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 Pew! I see, now has a. Let's see if plus three, and we come over to our potatoes again. See? Now, it see? Look how fast that was! Now we have even more potatoes! Screw you, old stuff. Nobody likes you. <laughs> so, and I'll let you look through all these. There's some really cool ones. Insanity was one of my favorites. Um, basically, for a short time, it makes monsters attack other monsters instead of you. Which makes me happy. Plus, it also it's like poppies cause naturally ma can naturally contain mind altering compounds. In case you didn't know, poppy seeds are used to make opium. The more you know. Oh, so it follows that their abilities. Uh, shut up. Uh, it, that their abilities in a spell would evolve the mind. Using the above recipe, you can create a spell that will cause nearby monsters to attack other nearby monsters. Ta-da! <laughs> I would try that, but I probably would break it. Anyway. And then there's three special kinds of flowers, spells, Radiance, Combustion, and Time Stop. These require special, not naturally generating flowers. Ours. Ours. You have to make these flowers. Uh, the Radiance spell, which uh, allows you to cast a beam of light, which burn basically hurts anything. I believe. I'm really itching and causing myself to bleed on accident. Um. Uh, 
Um, this these require the mutating power powder. The flower of light is you need to plant an axi daisy, and at noon, toss a glowstone block and one prismarine crystal next to it. And while under you put effects of night vision, use the powder on the flower. And since I have my game world set to perpetually be noon, because you know time is annoying, we can do that. It was the prismarine crystal. Uh, night vision. Uh, I don't need it for that long. I guess I can have it for that long. I mean, I don't know. And then what was it? I, uh... Oh, what was it? Glowstone block? Alright. With an oxide daisy. Oxy daisy. Ah, oopsie daisy. So it's noon. Plant the flower. Oh, this oxy daisy is literally all over my little island here. So, prismarine. Glowstone. Night vision. Whoosh. Oh, that made a noise. And babushki. Oh, it gives you blindness for a moment. And see, it gives you the flower of light. Radiant Daisy. And this is used to make the, uh, Radiant spell. And then combustion, you take a plant a blue orchid in the nether, make a ring and netherrack around the flower. <gasps> While under the fire resist effect, toss a blaze rod in the lava bucket. You got a flower. And then for the, that makes the destruction, which allows you to create explosions! And, uh, time stop. This is a fun one. Basically, plant a poppy two blocks above obsidian in the end, and while under slowness effect, toss a coal box to fire and use a powder. And time stop is exactly what it sounds like if I was not under the friggin' thing. There was a... Well, there was a spell for this. Nature's Cure. Okay, hold on. Oh, man. This is also a fun one. Basically, it turns you into a... Sorry, I'm getting off track. Basically, allow... And, uh, if you have negative potion effects, it turns them into their positive variations. But anyway, time stop basically stops an enemy for, stops the target first of my time. And I wonder if it works on players. I hope it does. Because that'd be really funny. But anyway, I'll let you look at the rest of these on your own. But now, oh no. It's time for rituals. Rituals are fun. Yeah, sorry. Here. To create a ritual. No, look at that yet. This is a ritual altar. Basically, springing nature magic into, but you need to burn s incense to do it. And for incense burners, it required to be within a nine by nine around it, and no, near to there. Some people's hearts. And basically, what you do is you put some stuff on the altar. And then you burn some incense. I'm going to uh, make an area. Uh, I need a tool. Where's a tool? There's a tool. Tactical difficulties, please stand by. There we go. That'll work. In an area. And some... Uh, rituals require more incense than others. I think the max I've seen is eight. I'll just place them all anyway. I mean, look at these models. I mean, look at the... Look at that little jar and the incense burner. I mean, just so cool. So cool looking. So what's the basic ritual we can do? Uh, living tools. The rituals are capable of channel life energy. The previous set of you can now use, you can now grow newer, stronger forms of your wooden tools, adding a little gold for reinforcements. <laughs> grow up on them. I'll slowly repair over time. Uh, this, and we'll get to this later. So we put oak bark, I think that is. 
Um. Leave. And those are incense burners, and you have to actually, like, legit burn the incense. Like, use a flint and steel. And then you can shift right click to put it out. By the way, leaving some incense burning and trying to do other rituals will not work. It's not very happy with you. So anyway, so that's a, uh... A Verdant Sprig. Is that a... A gold ingot. And wood tool of your choice. I'm gonna do an axe, because I want to do a thing. Why do I have dirt? What a doit. And then that's oak bark, I think. You burn, and then we need a flint and steel. And I'm also gonna get my uh, a uh, oak sapling back. I wonder if the gross spell works on. Yep, it works. <laughs> I was gonna use my. So then we right click, right click, right click. Oh no, not right click. Right click, and then right click, right click. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm going to. Not do them like this. Not do them so close to the ritual altar. Just because I'm finicky. And it doesn't look very wide. Nice. There. Doesn't that look better and not cluttered? Sorry. OCD-ness. Technical difficulties. Anyways, I don't need to do the burn. Do ba do, ba do, ba do. Can we just right click and watch the light show? Oh, there's actual fire effects. I didn't notice that before. And now we have a living wood axe. Living axe. What does a living axe do? Well, let's chop down a tree. Getting wood. And now, if we can see. Um, you cannot see durability at this time. Uh, we cannot see durability at this time. However, if we keep an eye on it, ta-da! It fixed itself. Oh, I had a derp there. And uh, I think it is about the strength of iron. Sweet. Need a ruski. Oh. I have no idea what I pick. I remember now. Anyway. But something. But some. Oh. You can also do growth. <laughs> There's a lot of growing rituals here. But, um. That is not the oh. only thing. There's, you can also. Some rituals require more power. Which require standing stones. Oh. Standing stones are needed to create more powerful rituals. And I think I've only seen one arrangement of standing stones. Uh, if I could find them. Mundane standing stones. There's multiple standing stones. I'm gonna look at this one real quick. Okay, so one, two, one, two, one, two, blah, one, two, blah, one, two, blah, one, two, blah. I'm getting hungry. Blah blah blah. blah blah blah. There we go. I'm actually gonna need some dirt here in a moment. So yeah. And what's another cool ritual we could do? Oh, the crystal staff. The crystal staff allows us to have four spells in a single staff while only needing one that for an unlimited number of uses and it's made like that with the instance burners burners and you make it like that but then you can have four additional incense burners each with a different petal dust so let me just get that recipe ready real quick that's a uh, 
Go block and blaze powder? Uh, sorry, I'm unprepared. I should have prepared for this. Diamond block, I mean. Jeez. That's expensive. I can't afford this. <laughs> this isn't in the budget, terror list. Why, why are you, why are you allowing me to do this? And then that's a, is that black wool or obsidian? That's a, a coal block. I can see things. Da, 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 da. Uh, where do they hide the coal block? Where's go? Blah. What? What? I think these burn for an unlimited amount of time. Don't quote me on that. And then, uh, I'll be right back when I have some spells. Alright, so now I have Petals Dust for Growth, Nature's Cure, Regeneration, and Shielding. Four very natural things to go with a very natural mod. And... Incense does not last forever, apparently. So, uh, okay, I have to remember the ritual. There's coal bark, coal block, bark, bark, and fervent. Uh, incorrect I was, these do not burn indefinitely. And see particle effects be going. Oon. I'm making up sound effects, by the way. Da 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 da. And now we have the crystal staff. Uh. Did I done break it? Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Okay, so I have to create it then! I put the things in. Okay. So, that was a bust. However, you can only use it on natural blocks or else it'll take from your health. It's very demanding. But anyway, sometimes spells just aren't... Sometimes that's just not powerful enough. So this time, we need the... Enhanced Standing Stones. And I believe these are... Or attuned, I guess. Are typically set up like... Might need some dirt here. How are these set up? I'm just using this as an example. Blah. 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 And basically they're taller. And have different runes on them by the looks of it. And what are some fun things you can do? Well, you can animate dead things, or you can make armor. So there's two kinds of armor you can make. There's the druidic robes, the sylvan armor, which are magically... They're based off leather, so they're not the strongest stuff in the world. But they auto-repair, and they boost the efficiency modifier in your spells by two. Or, my preferred one, the, or the uh, wildwood, I believe it's called, armor. They're based off iron, so they're basically just protection. Mm -hmm. uh, they also auto repair somewhere, and their level is somewhere between iron and diamond. And it auto repairs and increases your natural regeneration even without food. So basically, even if you're going, if you're starving to death, you still naturally regenerate. And if you are full on health, you regenerate even more by the looks of it. Or my favorite part, the armor just looks friggin' cool. I mean, look! This is a beta mod? Look at this armor! It's awesome! 
my mechanical arm's kind of phasing through the armor, though. And then there's my favorite. The Wildwood. Dude, I just look like a tree. Come at me! I'm Tree Man! <laughs> you are not penetrating my tree! And unfortunately, it doesn't show. So, some other cool things you can do is you can make energized stones, which are modified standing stones, which will do effects. My favorite is the growing stone, or one of my favorites. There's some uh -huh. other ones too, like a growing stone. Its effect is it basically just bone meal. <laughs> Um, I don't know if they have to be on the same level or not. That might be a good question. Huh. Wow. We'll check on that later. Huh. And also the, uh... There's one other kind. Huh. Uh... Kind of set stuff on fire, kinds of that, kinds of that uh, as a regeneration, which I think also works on hostile mobs, which are undead uh, and so it'll hurt them. Um, there's some other uh, cool things. Then there's the. Uh, I forgot to look at this one. Uh, uh. Um, I have to try the time shift thing. Sorry, I'm running late. Uh, sacrifice you can do, and it'll like, give you a random plan at the cost of killing a mob. Runic foci. You can make it like that, and it'll give you stone. And you can kind of charge it. However, currently, charging it, the, there's no use for charging it at the time. So... But you can make a cool sword out of it. And the cool thing about the sword is you can burn up to four different barks. And each bark of a certain kind gives you a certain effect. And they're stackable. So, uh, I'm not going to craft it two at a time. Acacia burn is, it gives you generic, will add some generic damage. Add additional knockback. S bonus damage attack on dead. Drowning damage. And do gives you better chance to dodge. Whatever that means. Uh, I have to try this time shift. So it's, uh... So it's... Clock and iron. But the more clock you burn, the better. By the sounds of it. So... I might just have to try this. With as many clocks I can throw... Shove them 9 by 9 uh, let's try it. Blah, blah. Let's try it like this. Oh, you can see the clock in there. And I'll end with this. This might not work properly. Uh, oh! Oh wow! Time did pass. Holy crap! That's cool. All right, and that's the roots mod. I did not go through everything, so uh, there's a lot of stuff for you to still explore and mess around with. Oh, I wonder what it would look like if I did this. And I, how awesome it would look if I did it. Uh. If I got the sword. Oh, if uh. only they had like a... Li the shield. I'm sorry, this is a completely sidetrack. Uh. I really need to stop getting on these sidetracks. Uh, uh. 
Please bear with me. My Ankh banner. With a shield. Whoopsie. So I have my shield. I am ready for war. <laughs> Fear the tree. Alright, this is Pharaoh Cra This is Pharaoh Tree of Pharaoh Cub Studios. Crab out. Blah, 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 bl